Okay, so in this video we're going to solve cos of 3x equals 0.7 between 0 and 360. Now because we've got cos of 3x, that means that's a stretch factor one-third parallel to the x-axis. So the period's no longer two, uh, 360, it's going to be a third of 360, so 120. Okay, so if I inverse cosine both sides, so inverse cosine of 0 0.7, I get 45.6 degrees to 3 sig fig. So a quick sketch of cosine between 0 and 360. So 0 0.7 will give us two solutions. Okay, there's the first one, 45.6. And the second can be found by subtracting 45.6 from 360. which is 314. Okay. So now we want to apply the transformation. So dividing both sides by 3. So I get 105 degrees to 3 sig fig for that one. And then inverse cos of 0 0.7 divided by 3 is 15.2 degrees to 3 sig fig for that one. Okay, so they are two of the solutions, okay, but they're not all of them. Now because I've done a stretch by factor one-third parallel to the x-axis, originally I would have expected two solutions, but because I can now fit three of the cosine curves in between 0 and 360, I'd expect to have six solutions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on the period of the function onto both of those solutions to get two more. Okay, so, um, so we've got 130, 135 for that one. Okay. And um, for this one, we'll have our 225. OK, so they are two more solutions. So now what I can do is add on another 120 to both of those to get two more solutions. Oh. Be consistent. Okay, so we'll get 255 degrees, and we'll get uh, 345 degrees. And as you can see, all of these solutions are between 0 and 360. So x is uh, 15.2, so 15.2, 105, uh, 135, 225, 255 and 345 degrees to three significant figures. They are the six solutions to the original problem. 